Hey guys, Slickfy here, and welcome to another career mode player review. Today we're having a look at a player that's been heavily requested and was just released a few days ago, and that player is going to be Hashi Mastor. And if you guys can take just a second, leave a like on this video because it took me ages to simulate until this player reached 30 years old. That would be awesome. And also, if you guys have any other players you want me to review, make sure you let me know down in the comments section below. But with all that said, let's get into the review today. At the start of career mode, Hashim Mastor is a 66 rated center attacking mid. Of course, he's only 16 years old and has an exciting prospect status. His real value is going to be 500,000, but when you send Milan an enquiry, they're going to say 10.5 million. And that, of course, is in season two since he was newly added to the team. So you're not able to pick him up right away, at least not to my knowledge. But moving on to the player information, you can see he has the ability to play a few positions. He can play that center attacking mid, center forward, right wing, and I would definitely recommend you guys play him in the middle because for me, he is just not quick enough to play on that wing. But he is right footed, has medium low work rates, three star weak foot, and of course the big five star skill moves, really fun to use there. He does have the flare trait to start off with and no specialties. And if we take a look at his attributes, you can see he's got pretty fair physical attributes, 76 acceleration. 78 agility, 77 balance for a 66 rated player, not too shabby, but for the technical attributes, he's really only great at his ball control and dribbling. The rest of it's very average for a 66 rated player. But anyways, let's move on ahead and see what he looks like when he's 30. Jumping ahead several years, my store reaches an overall rating of 88 and a value of 34 and a half million. Has that special something status, and he does manage to pick up a few specialties along the way, the dribbler, and distant shooter specialties which fit him very well as you guys will see with the goals and highlights to follow but taking a look at his attributes you can see not too much growth in the physical department and it is really a shame because if you look at the strength and the stamina they're incredibly low and that really does have a big impact on his performance in game but the tactical attributes are just pure class 97 ball control 96 dribbling 97 long passing 98 long shots 90 curve as well as 98 short passing and then a few other major statistics. But I'll talk a little bit more about his pros and cons here and the goals and highlights to follow. As we get into the highlights, I will start off by saying that I was not a big fan of Mastor in the first few games that I played with him. Played a total of about five games and in the first game he really didn't do much for me, but I think that is because he has a very specific style you have to play him in and I will talk a little bit more about that here as we get into the pros and cons. Starting off with the pros, he does have five star skills which is really fun to use and not much more I can say you know you can utilize all those five star skill skills and have some fun with them also his dribbling is quite good 97 ball control as well as 96 dribbling that brings me to my first point I would recommend using a lot of precise dribbling with him don't sprint so much with him but rather use the left trigger right trigger as well as the right bumper quite a bit and I think you guys will see a lot of success his long shots are also incredible, 98 long shots means you can shoot from outside the box and a lot of time it's going to be on target and sometimes it'll go in. His finesse shots are also really nice, I managed to score one really nice one in these goals and it was one of the better finesse shots I've scored all year. Lastly, his passing is incredible, 97 long passing and 98 short passing. Only two cons that I can mention and that being his stamina as well as his strength. He only has 55 stamina and 42 strength, meaning that you can't play him in a lot of midweek matches because he's just going to be too tired and if he is being pushed off the ball he's not going to win it a lot of times because he is just not strong enough but guys that's going to bring an end to the review today overall i'm going to give him a rating of 9.1 and a value for price of 8.7 because he takes a long time to develop but guys i hope you did enjoy the review today if you did do me a favor leave a like down below subscribe to the channel if you're new and until next time this has been flickify i'll be talking to y'all again soon What's going on guys, Flickify here with episode 4 of season 2 for this Aston Villa career mode. Today's episode is going to be a big one because we have our first really major test in the Champions Cup against Juventus. Then of course we have a match against Newcastle.